assalamu alaikum my name is fatma ahmed ji and the lecture which i am going to deliver today is lg the autotrophic thallophytes of the plant kingdom now we will study that what is phycology so the study of lg is called phycology the scientists concerned with the study of algae are called phycologists algae are autotrophs which means they can prepare their food so they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis as they consist of the photosynthetic pigment which is chlorophyll and lichen in 1836 included algae fungi and lichens in a division called thallophyte they have thallus like structure which means sac like structure they lack true root stem and leaves mostly algae are aquatic and they are found in fresh water sea and in stagnant water ectocarpus and polysiphonia are marine species of algae which means they are found in sea Waucheria and Batrachospermum are found in fresh water like rivers streams ponds Cara odogonium and zygnema are found in stagnant water some algae are terrestrial which means they are found on damp and shady places like on the barks of trees in the soil inside the flower pots and as well as on the flower pots moist soil and rocks this shows their adaptations to aerial mode of life for example the terrestrial algae are waucheria and oscillatoria surface algae on soil are known as saprophytes such as botrytidium and waucheria are found on the soil surfaces blue green subsurface algae called cryptophytes are found in the soil below the surface which means inside the soil nostoc and anabina are blue green algae they belong to the cyanophyce class of algae and they live underground inside the soil these are the pictures of polysiphonia and ectocarpus which are marine algae you can uh, clearly see the structures of the following two algae Waucheria and Batrachospermum are freshwater algae they are found in fresh water like rivers streams etc Cara and Zygnema are found in stagnant water Botrytidium is a terrestrial algae Algae show great variation in size and form they may be unicellular or multicellular colonial or filamentous branched or unbranched flat disk like or heterotrichous or heterotrichous cenocytic parenchymatous tubular or palm like flamidomonas is unicellular and microscopic while macrocystis is multicellular and macroscopic volvox is colonial while zygnema is filamentous The colonies of Chlamydomonas are known as volvox. Waucheria is branched and cenocytic while coleocyte is disk like. Ulva is parenchymatous and Cara is heterotrichous or you can also pronounce it as heterotrichous. Now we will discuss Chlamydomonas. This is the systematic position of Chlamydomonas. which is given in the following slide along with the picture of chlamydomonas the kingdom is plantae division is thallophyta subdivision is phycophyta class is chlorophyce order is volucellae family is chlamydomona diaceae and genus is chlamydomonas chlamydomonas is found in standing water the plant body is pear shaped consisting of two flagella at the anterior end at the front of the plant body which is pear shaped which was uh, cleared in the diagram asexual reproduction in chlamydomonas takes place by zoospore aplanospore and palmella stage sexual reproduction takes place by isogamy and isogamy and 
Ugemi. Now we will discuss Spirogyra. The systematic position of Spirogyra is given along with its structure. The kingdom is Plantae, division is Thallophyta, subdivision is Phycophyta, class is Chlorophyce, order is Conjugales, family is Zygnimaci, and genus is Spirogyra. You can see that it has a filamentous structure and the chloroplast inside the cells is spiral in shape. Spirogyra is found in stagnant ponds and in running fresh water. So it is also found in stagnant ponds as well as in running fresh water in the rivers and streams. It is a filamentous algae. The filaments are unbranched. The filaments have spiral shaped chloroplast. In Spirogyra, vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation. It also reproduces by the formation of spores. Sexual reproduction takes place by conjugation. These are the pictures of Cara and Voucheria. Cara belongs to the class Chlorophyce, which are also known as green algae, and Voucheria belongs to the class Xanthophyce, which are also known as yellow green algae or green yellow algae. Pinularia viridis which belongs to the class Bacillariophyce, they are also known as diatoms or golden algae. Why they are called golden algae? Because the cell walls are salicified, they have deposition of silica. Pinularia viridis is found in fresh water or standing water. It is unicellular and microscopic. The cells are elongated in shape with rounded ends, which you can clearly see in the picture the cell wall is silicified as i discussed it earlier that there is deposition of silica on the cell walls and consists of two overlapping walls which fit into one another like a pill box vegetative reproduction in pinularia viridis takes place by cell division and special kind of spores are produced known as oxospores while sexual reproduction takes place by isogamy now we will discuss ectocarpus. Ectocarpus belongs to the class Theophyce, which are commonly known as brown algae. Ectocarpus is marine. It consists of cylinder, which means thin brown filaments. Asexual reproduction in ectocarpus takes place by biflagellate zoospores, while sexual reproduction in ectocarpus takes place by isogamy and isogamy and ugamy. You can see in the picture that it has a prostrate system of root-like structures and has upright tufts, which are also known as upright branches, which are not like the branches of other plants, but they look like them. Thank you so much for listening to the lecture.